Sarah walks into the office and says, Hey, Kevin, can I speak with you for a minute? Kevin says, Sure, Sarah, but can you make it quick? I have a lot of work to get done here. Sarah says, Okay, well, I heard that you're going to be promoting a few employees to management positions, and I thought that Mark would be a great fit for the sales manager position. Mark has, is very effective at training the new reps and has been known to motivate them to sell more. He really has become the leader of the group. Kevin says to Sarah, Thank you for the suggestion, Sarah. I'll be sure to think over it and consider him. Sarah then con thanks him and says, You're welcome. Talk to you later, Kevin. Later on, Kevin calls for individual meetings with Mark, Sarah, and Mary. Kevin ta says to Mark, Thank you for meeting me, Mark. You have been a great passion for sales and you're so goal-oriented. I want to promote you to sales manager and hire new sales reps to report to you. Mark is happy. He says, wow, thank you for this opportunity, Kevin. I won't let you down. Kevin says to Mary, Mary, as you know, I want to expand the firm's organizational structure. You were the first person I employed under me and feel that you have a broad knowledge of what I need for this term. I need a person in charge of HR in all aspects of the term. I would love for you to help me with screening potential candidates to report to Mark and Sarah. How about the title of HR manager? Mary is happy. She says, yes, I would love that. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Kevin then says to Sarah, Sarah, with all the structural changes happening and un the uncertainty of this firm, I need a strong hand in marketing. Therefore, I have decided to make you director of marketing and would like to have three to two to three employees to report you for your assistance. Sarah says to Kevin, This is great, Kevin. Thank you. I can work with Mark to make sure we get a great team together. Kevin then responds to Sarah. Now, Sarah, I understand you and Mark have worked together in the past, but I really do need to make sure that you refocus your attention to marketing only and leave Kevin to sales until we implement new structural changes. Sarah then says, All right, Kevin. I'll do that. Sarah then says to Mark, I just had a meeting with Kevin, and I feel like he's trying to keep us away from each other just because of Mary. Later on, Mary says to Sarah and Mark, Congrats on your new position, Mark. Kevin has put me in charge of HR. For the advertising aspect, I feel like we should post up New open positions on a job board to bring more inquiries to the open positions. Sarah says, will the job openings remain on the website for the company as well? Mary says, yes, they will. Putting the job openings on public board will bring in more candidates to choose from. From the training, will two weeks of training suffice? Mary says, I concur. Three weeks will work. Any other suggestions? Sarah says, no, I think that'll be good for now. Thanks. Mark then says, I think I'm good. Thank you, Mary. Mary says, you're all welcome. Please feel free to run any suggestions by me. Mary then says to Mark and Sarah, Hey guys, I think I've found more great candidates for you. Mark, there's a girl in particular that'll be perfect. Mark says, thank you, Mary. I'll be... I can't wait to meet them both. I'll go set up interviews with them right now. Sarah then says, Do you have any candidates to interview for me, Mary? Mary then says, Oh, no, Sarah, I don't. I'm still looking at resumes. But once I do, I'll let you know for sure. Mary says, I assure you, Sarah, that I'm only hiring the best candidates for the department. 